this is into the fire. I take great pleasure in welcoming the skillful, the hardworking, the goal-kicking midfielder, high draft prospect and terrific guy, Connor McDonald. Nice to meet you, Connor. Thanks for having me, LJ. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you too, and my pleasure. Your Instagram name is Croc. Any story behind it? Yeah, so I joined Haleybury uh, football and school uh, back in year 10. So I transitioned across there and one of the older boys uh, thought I looked like Joel Crocker, one of his mates outside of school. So ever since then, he's called me Croc and yeah, the, the um, Instagram name there stuck. So uh, all the mates just call me Croc and it's just sort of stuck since year 10, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool name though. Now, Connor, the first thing I want to bring up is the fact that you're 184 centimetres but grew five centimetres in less than two years. What's your strategy, mate? I need any advice you can give me. Oh, I was probably a late grower, so I don't really have any strategies for you. Um, yeah, but I hit a growth spurt pretty, a growth spurt, uh, pretty late. So, um, yeah, I was just waiting for the height to come. And, yeah, it came a bit later, but um, it certainly helped my game. And, um, yeah, I can really use that now. So being a bit taller and sort of an average size player now compared to a smaller player I was. Yeah, sounds good to be tall. Yeah, you're a very highly touted draft pick. What was the young Connor McDonald like? Did you play any other sports growing up? Yeah, so I had a, a big athletics background. Um, so I was always athletics and football. So, yeah, I did a uh, little athletics from under nines to about under 14s. And, yeah, it was uh, pretty handy at a few events. So, yeah, that was my uh, summer sport and then footy in the winter. Yeah, what was, what's your favourite event at athletics? It was probably long jump. Yeah, I like the, the jump sort of aspect to um, athletics and then a few sprints here and there. So probably long jump, maybe a 200 metre sprint. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Now, you were selected in the 2019 All Australian Under 16 team. That must have been a huge thrill. You must have been really happy with the championship. Yeah, it was a um, pretty good championship. Um, I was pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was probably a good start and sort of where I thought my football could go a bit further. Um, and yeah, I just really took it in my stride and was really like proud of the performance. But um, yeah, just continued on. Yeah, it was um, a good achievement, but a um, lot to look forward to. Yeah, definitely. Now, I read you had several huge weapons. My question is, are they registered or is it a bit hush-hush? <laughs> Probably a bit hush-hush. I think I like the guy about my business. Um, yeah, just just go about my business um, by myself, sort of um, keep it close to myself and sort of play the game in um, probably a manner that's not too flashy. Um, try and keep it keep it normal, um, just go about the business, do the, do the uh, little things well and yeah, try and be clean and um, just dispose of the footy pretty well and then hide my weapons and use them when I can. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. You have some serious game. You attract the ball like a magnet. You take off quicker than a bullet out of a gun. Add to this, your wonderful work rate and great skills. You're a mouth-watering prospect for clubs. What do you want scouts to say about you leading into the draft? Um, probably that I've uh, improved a fair bit since the under-16 year. I thought I um, had a few areas to improve on then that I've gotten to a level that's um, yeah pretty good now. So I probably want them to say that I've improved on a few areas and that I'm tracking pretty well. And um, I started the season pretty well in the first three games of the NAB League. So that's, yeah, that's what I'd want them to say about me at the moment. Yeah, that'd be good. Now, for a midfielder, you can really get up like, like the old hanger, do you? Have you taken a big one this season yet? Oh, I've been close a few times with um with the stingrays and school footy, but I ha no yeah, none of them are stuck yet, so I haven't really um haven't really gone yet. So yeah, it'll come hopefully. Oh, well, you'll get there. <laughs> now you play predominantly in the midfield and then pinch it up forward. Have you ever played down back, or is it nope? I'm a goal kicking midfielder. Uh, there's been times when I've had to go down back through um the under sixteens. Um, I got thrown down back a, a bit when. Yeah, when I wasn't playing in the midfield or down forward. So there's been times when I've gone down back and, yeah, it's okay. I don't mind it, but predominantly down, yeah, down like in the midfield or down the forward line, yeah. Yeah, those are the best positions. Well, I prefer wing, but... <laughs> nice. Now, you have absolutely killed it this, this season so far. The old COVID must be killing you. What are you doing in lockdown apart from wishing footy was on? 
Yeah, so I was pretty happy with how I started. I wanted to um, come out the blocks blazing. So um, that was a goal of mine coming into the season. So just that and be consistent. So yeah, without um, having footy now, it's a bit of a bummer, but um, yeah, just so, sort of keeping the kilometers in the leg. So on the weekend, went for a 15K run just to keep the um, kilometers in the legs and um, yeah, just trying to keep the ball in my hand when I can to, uh, to keep the skills up. So hopefully we're back next week. Geez, that's a big run. And yeah, that would that would suck, yeah. Because yeah. get good form and then COVID hits again. Very exactly. nice. Yeah. You play for the Stingrays and not the greatest start for the team. But for you as an individual, you've been killing it. In game two this year, you amassed 33 disposals, 10 marks, 10 inside 50s and laying 12 tackles. A monster effort in a loss, mind you. You must be happy with your form. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, as I said before, the key sort of um, goal of mine coming to the season was to be consistent. So I think I started pretty well in those first three games and then headed off to school footy. But, um, yeah, overall, despite the team uh, not doing too well, um, yeah, I think I was pretty happy with my individual performance. So it's good to get my um, hands on the footy and, yeah, do as much as I could. Although, uh, yeah, we uh, weren't lucky enough to get the win there. Yeah. Oh, you get it next time. Yeah. Now, you've really risen up the draft boards this year. Do you pay much attention to the draft media? I'll try not to. I think yeah, there's a lot of hype around the draft starting from the like start of the year all the way through. So there's always a lot of articles on, on social media that you come across. But, um, yeah, you try not to get your, um, your head like too, like stuck in it too much. So, yeah, just try and um, relax and not think about it too much and just con control what you can control. So, yeah, definitely do, don't get too caught up in it. Yeah, that's the way. A couple of quick footy questions. What footy team do you support and who is your favourite player? Oh, I support Collingwood Magpies and favourite player would have to be Scott Pendlebury. Oh, yeah, he's a really good player. He's very silky, very nice. Yes, he is. Yeah. What's your favourite thing you you love about footy? Probably um, playing with your mates. I think, yeah, that's probably the best thing. So um, we've got a pretty close close group at um, school footy. So that's probably the aspect I love most of it. Yeah, just running out with uh, 22 of, of your best mates each week. That's pretty special. Yeah. All right, let's have a couple of non-footy questions. If you had to play a different sport, what would it be? I'd probably go back to athletics. Um, I think that's what I was best at apart from football. So head back down, um, back down to the track and yeah, see what I could do there. Yeah, I'm sure you'd go well as well. Favourite pastime activity? Oh, when I'm not having any uh, sporting commitments, I like to uh, get down the water with my mates. So a few of my mates have um, got a few holiday houses down near the water and a few jet skis and boats. So that's pretty nice to get get out there and yeah, get behind a boat and on a biscuit or something and yeah, whip them around. Sounds awesome. Number one sports person you would have around for drinks? Oh, it's a big one. Um, Probably I'm um, Scott Penderbury. Um, I reckon I've looked up to him a fair bit throughout my uh, years of supporting Collingwood. So that'd be nice to sit down with him at a dinner and um, and pick his brain about um, everything he's he's accomplished and the journey um, he went through. Yeah, it would be an interesting chat. Be real. Yeah. Cool. What would you have as a last meal? Well, it'd probably have to be a chicken schnitzel. Um, that's my favourite. So. Chicken schnitzel or gravy, that'd be my last meal for sure. Chicken parmy, chicken schnitzel. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, along those lines. Yeah, good choice. If you had to be a gamer, what video game would you choose? Oh, probably about two years ago, I was pretty addicted to Fortnite. So that would, that would be my, my game of choice. Um, yeah, I love the Fortnite grind. So got on that with a few of the boys, um, which was pretty good. So yeah, if I had to go back to a gaming sort of aspect or to play that, that would have to be Fortnite for sure. Yeah. Well, Connor, in my opinion, you're one of the real players to watch because you have it all. I can imagine you getting onto that AFL stage really quickly and then making a difference immediately. You see, you'll run forward and take a lovely mark near 50, unload that baby straight through the middle, and the crowd will go bananas. You will be immediately loved by fans. I can see that already. So then give them what they want, mate. Give them the celebration both you and them deserve. The end of the fire. Thank you, mate. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, that was awesome. Loving what you're doing, mate. So, yeah, keep it up. I'm, yeah, really proud of you. Thanks, mate. It has been no. amazing getting to know you. 
better today, Connor. You're a player on the rise and an AFL, a future AFL star. Add to that, a great guy, and I can't wait to follow your journey, buddy. Thanks, mate. Love what you're doing, so keep it up and we'll, we'll keep in contact. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Connor. Thank you.